Okay, guys. So, um, <clears throat> as you may remember, I said a long time before I was gonna um, share with you uh, some outdoor cooking recipes. Problem is, uh, I have a lot of gear right now uh, in my new kitchen. So, uh, and I'm not outdoors. It's night outdoors. So, uh, I'm gonna make you uh, share with you my simple recipe for. Uh, bannock bread for the trail. It's really really simple. The only thing I use is Almost only thing I use uh, to measure is this small uh, cup. This is a cup that comes with protein powder and I've cut just the handle and this is something I always take with me when uh, I want to make some outdoor cooking so it's really practical to have um, the notion of um, measures to make simple bread or simple recipes. I'm just gonna <coughs> tell you what I'm gonna use. Um, this recipe it's really 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 simple. Everyone can do it. I'm gonna make um, cook that on uh, my kitchen in my kitchen and not on a fire. But the principle is is the same. Just in the outdoors you have so many more ways to to cook the bread on a piece of wood that you have cut and heat uh, heated a bit on the fire and just lay uh, the bread on this part and just uh, you know move the log so that it has a nice uh, it gets the irs from the um, the infrareds of the fire you know the heat and so it can uh, cook quite easily or uh, you can just you know mold it uh, over uh, around uh, a stick uh, a piece of stick sorry okay this is okay sorry about that um, you can mold your uh, dough around the stick uh, after removing the bark and just heat it on the fire. Uh, use a simple cup like my Tatonka stainless steel cup that I've used several times uh, on the fire. You know, I use it that way. Excuse me, a lot of mess inside. Sorry for getting out of the frame <laughs> pretty often on this video. So I use my cup that way. You know, I put um, something like pieces of wood, then a bit of flour, flour on the um, on the top, then put my dough, put the cup around uh, over, and just you know make a kind of seam with uh, mud or um, you know uh, soil around it and build my fire over so that it make a nice little oven um, just be careful not to touch uh, the, the exteriors of the cup so that you're sure pretty sure you won't uh, have some uh, sticky burned uh, bread on it so uh, I've also used that one this is a Vargo titanium Sierra cup uh, which is pretty useful for cooking a part of bread for uh, one person. It's the same principle, you know how to cook uh, over a fire with such a cup. So today what I'm gonna use as ingredient it's uh, plain flour, uh, sugar, it's not brutal sugar but it's called brut and brut means brutal but um, this is mean untreated or uh, natural it's it's a kind of um, uh, cane sugar, if you know what I mean. So you can use pretty any kind of sugar. I want to use natural and untreated sugar for that. Uh, just a little bit of baking powder and in the protein powder box there is uh, some powdered milk. So with this, uh, I think. I don't really know the, the, the size, the measures of that one, but it is exactly what I need for a quick uh, quick meal over the fire, so that's what I'm gonna do. And of course you need water, but this is pretty standard. 
So, first, take your baking powder, uh, your uh, flour, and I use one full cup of that. Excuse me, I mean three cups. Three cups of flour. Just washing a bit the cup not to mix ingredients. Now powdered milk, I use two cups. So two cups of powdered milk. Now you can make uh, a sugary or uh, a sweet or uh, salty uh, better. This depends on what you want to do or if you like sweet and sour uh, taste. But what I'm uh, gonna do here is just add, let's say, one full um, spork of untreated sugar, a bit more, just because of the spikes of the spork which make it uh, harder to to add a full one so now I'm just gonna mix my um, dry ingredients and last this is this depends on what kind of dough you want to to obtain but for what I'm I want to do I'm gonna begin with one cup of water good water from the Alps and then if I need more I, I'll add just uh, a third of a cup then a third of a cup and if I need still more one third, you know, uh, not adding too much because you risk to obtain something you really don't want to have so now just mix mix all that sorry I forgot to add one teaspoon, about a teaspoon of baking powder. Uh, that's probably a bit more. Never mind. And here I see it's it's getting. Um, I like my dough to be pretty thick and. Um, not to be too, uh, you know, soft. So this means I don't like to add a lot of water to the mix. least I, I need a third more okay Sorry about that, it's too good when it's well made. Okay, so this is the kind of paste I like. It's gooey, but pretty thick. And this is what, what works the best for me. Now, what you, you want to do is, you know, when I'm on the trail, I'm often used to bring with me if I go out for two or three days, I check uh, small packs of butter, like so. This is uh, butter in small packages like that, and this is 
pretty perfect for what I want to do. I'm using my uh, Gaia Design Microbyte and I will just put a little butter on my my pan here because I'm using the pan to make that one and you know just no, you, you don't need to add too much butter uh, but just be sure it, it won't stick inside the the pan melt a little and when it starts to melt enough and you have enough butter on the plate I must hurry up because I see the time is running out and just then I'll add your uh, dough on the pan like so well, this is not rocket science, so just go for it. You don't need all my explanation for that. Uh, take as much as you can if you do. And then I am be forced to cut that uh, video just to be sure I can show you the final result. So just stay with me. And I will come back pretty soon. I'm just cooking it. I will cook it a bit, then turn it, and then turn it back just to see how to manage that. And then uh, I'll be ready for uh, eating that. But the result, it's, it's getting pretty nice. So uh, I'm gonna check in a few seconds. Okay. Now it's getting pretty nice. See that? So we may see. I'm gonna cook it on the other side. Like so. See, it's getting nice. And I drink in in a few seconds. Well, guys, it smells great. Uh, it's getting pretty nice. It looks like it's burned, but actually it's not. Um, you just have to be careful. On a fire, it's pretty hard uh, to to judge how much you you should cook that. But um, even here, it gets brown or even black pretty quickly. But it's not quite a problem. I okay, guys. So uh, now this is the result, final result. Uh, it's getting pretty nice. One thing that is pretty good to eat with that is some nice bacon, like so. Uh, you can mix that, um, put that in the inside the bannock, even if it's a sugary bannock, and add on it a bit of um, maple syrup. And this gives a perfect taste and it works really well. Now, there, there is only one rule with bannock. You do never use a knife to cut bannock. Bannock, it's uncuttable. If you eat bannock, you have to break it. Depending to what I've heard from uh, guys during these last years, bannock, it's really a bread you never cut. You just break it. Mm, and enjoy it. Um, this one is pretty tasteless because I like to be able to throw in resins, uh, white fruits, anything I can see out in the wild or even if I have some bacon with me I can uh, cook bacon or just put the bacon like so inside or on the, the banner bread and eat that. Okay, so guys thanks for watching and see you soon. Cheers.